Okay, so the word defibrillator for today, we'll be trusting God for a word from within the word. Right here and now, what is God trying to tell us? And what is it that we need to hear? Psalm 34. Now this is a psalm of David when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, who drove him out and he went away. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought, inquired of the Lord, and required him of necessity and on the authority of his word, and he heard me. And he delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant. Their faces shall never blush for shame or be confused. I sought, inquired of the Lord and required him of necessity. Are you in a place of necessity? Are you in a place where you need to inquire? Like, God, are you there? Are you with me? Turning to God and acknowledging that He is the answer to everything. It will deliver you from all fear. And I know we are fearful. Every single one of us in sh some shape and form, we, we are fearful of something. And sometimes fear can actually disable us, can make us useless in the sense of we are unable to, unable to be used by God. This poor man cried, verse 6, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, who revere and worship him with awe, and each of them he delivers. To find reverence in God is to acknowledge him as your father and you are his child, which induces in you a wanting to serve and an unwillingness to offend. O oh, taste and see the Lord our God is good. Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. Have you ever been in a place where people say, how do you do it? Have you been in a place where you've been asking, how does that person go through all that they go through, yet they still smile on their face? They never tell you what they've been through. They've never told you about their scars. They've never said, oh, yeah, if you only know what I've been through. There you go. If we trust and take refuge in him, we will taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. Revere and worship him, for there is no want to those who truly revere and worship him with godly fear. Godly fear is not that he's going to harm you or he's going to bring his wrath upon you. It said it's God's goodness that is there to lead us to repentance. That's in the word. So worshipfully fear the Lord is, you know, you were fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Now, how can it say that God made you with fear? Well, there it is. It's that, that fear of the Lord, which means I hope I get it right. I don't want to lose relationship with the Lord. I hope I do what pleases Him. You know when you're going to make a meal for somebody and you have a vision in your mind of how you want it to turn out and then you're very careful that as you prepare it that it turns out the way you envision it? That kind of fear. Just, just wanting it to go right. To do the right thing in accordance to His will and in accordance to His word. Verse 12, what man is he who desires life and longs for many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. That's the kind of man that gets a long life and many days. By keeping your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit, depart from evil and do good. Seek, inquire for and crave peace and pursue. Go after it. Wow. Depart from evil, do good, seek, inquire for, and crave peace, and pursue, go after it. And peace is going to be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Pursue him. 
The eyes of the Lord are towards the uncompromisingly righteous. Righteous is being in right standing with God, doing as he does, thinking as he thinks, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. This is the verse for today. It's for you. This is all you need to do. If you're in a place where you're in distress and you have troubles, verse 17, Psalm 34, verse 17, when the righteous, that's you, cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their distress and troubles. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for that deliverance. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. Thank you, Lord, that we are right here, right now, delivered from our fears. That we walk away from evil. That, Holy Spirit, that you help us keep our tongue from evil and our lips from speaking deceit. Thank you that we have the strength and the power that is being put in us by God himself to seek, inquire for, and crave peace, to be able to pursue it. That peace that surpasses all understanding, that peace that God's our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And Lord, we cry out for help. We know you hear us and you will deliver us out of all our distress and troubles. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.